Well, hi all. Um, I'd like to show you a new microphone today. This was given to me by a good friend of mine, Jürgen Morgenroth, um, who is the man behind JJ Mics. Check him out online. Uh, he does all sorts of elements, old Shure elements. He has a couple of crystals, all sorts of wonderful microphones. And I played this one last year for the first time in Austria at a festival, and I loved it. I had never seen it before. It is a Shure uh, Con Commando 420, been customized for um, harmonica. JJ has put his um, volume control on here. And uh, with the switchcraft, he's put on a little adapter for me so I can use my uh, jack here, normal uh, guitar cable, instrument cable. Um, it is green plastic. And um, it's that color because apparently um, in the 60s, um, they were used by the military, hence the name Commando. And it's sort of got this military green, this camouflage green that, that we all know. And apparently uh, they were made to withstand cold and hot and uh, humidity, etc. Um, and uh, uh, as I said, I've only had it a few days, uh, a week or so, so I can't comment on its longevity, but it's already 50 years old, so it's not doing too badly. Um, and it's got uh, this cool little grill on the top there. You can see that. Um, yeah, otherwise, um, it um, is extremely easy to hold. It is hard... I, th I would describe as halfway between a stick and a bullet. Um, it just fits in there beautifully. So I don't know how you hold, but I usually hold with one maximum two fingers to leave a bit of space um, to the to the harp. Always a good idea for tone, guys. Don't put it on there. So you've got that clacking going on. Leave a bit of space and cup it. And. Um, it's incredibly clear. It has a wonderful clarity. Um, sometimes you find with the, with the Shures, the CRCMs, uh, and some static uh, microphones, the 151s, the 127s, a little bit different, but they, they can be a bit muddy, a bit uh, dark down the bottom. This, I don't know enough about frequencies, but this uh, um, is clearer. It, it works all the way from the, from the bass up to the, the treble. It has got a lot of clarity. It's very got a lot of presence in it. And it's got a mid honk. Um, I found myself uh, jamming with it the other day at a gig and uh, automatically playing sort of more the uh, the, the little Walter style um, honking horn sound thing because it delivers on that. Um, that's not primarily the type of stuff that I do, but um, it has that feel and sound to it. Um, I like it a lot. Um, you don't need to be very loud to cut through at a live gig uh, because it is there. Now, I'll, I'll play a bit for you. First of all, I'll do a sort of a, uh, I've got an, a, a B-flat Zydel 1847 here. And I'm playing through a uh, Zydel hyperamp. And uh, I've put a little bit of uh, echo on for you for uh, the, 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 the effect. Um, you can hear it, sort of a little Walter style thing. Here we go. <laughs> Take a different harp, a deeper harp. This is an A flat. the honk that I'm certainly playing here. It's got a, a lovely mid clarity um, to it. Let me get you an, an even higher harp. Okay, this is a this is a D now, you can hear it. Uh. punch to it. 
Um, so, I don't know. I think it's the only one I've ever played. I don't know if they all sound like this. This one sounds great. So, many thanks, JJ, for my wonderful birthday present. I am looking forward to playing this one live. Okay, guys, that's it. Till next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>